Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, three problems I've completed on crashing. Crashing the activities in network analysis. In this video, one more problem, fourth problem I'm going to explain you. In examination frequently, this type of questions will be asked. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch with full patience, with full interest, and always keep a notebook, calculator, pen, pencil ready while watching the video because whenever I explain you something important which you do not know immediately write it down maintain the notes then only you can be able to remember for a long period of time you will not forget it you will not commit any mistake simply watching the video listening the lecture doesn't uh, give you much impact in your minds so follow my instructions for your uh, getting a good command on this topic of network analysis so if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research, select the videos of network analysis crashing, be perfect about the concept, then only you can be able to understand. So before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot, then I'll explain. See the fourth problem. <clears throat> Obtain the minimum cost and optimum duration to the following network. Activities are given 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 4, 3 to 5, 4 to 6, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. Normal time in weeks are given normal time and crash time. And cost slope rupees per week. In the earlier problems, we have calculated cost to slope. But in this problem, directly cost to slope is given. So for first 1 to 2 activity, there is no cost to slope because normal time and crash time both are same. We cannot crash the activity 1 to 2 because normal time, crash time both are same. That's why dash. Second, 2 to 3 activity, 4 weeks is the normal time. 3 weeks is the crash time. So 1 week, we can crash by incurring an additional cost of 1000. 1000 rupees for crashing one week. Similarly, for 2 to 6, 8, 8, no possibility of any crashing. And 3 to 4, 3 to 1 week we can crash by incurring an additional cost of 1500. And 3 to 5, 2 to, no possibility of crashing. 4 to 6, 4, 3, 1 week possibility. Then 5 to 6, no crashing possible. 6 to 7, 3 weeks we can crash. Because normal time 8 weeks, crash time 5 weeks. Three weeks we can crash each week the additional cost is 1333 and the indirect cost is 3000 per week that's all so comparatively this problem is very simple because cost to slope is directly given in the problem before doing any problem on network analysis first of all you must have the capability of drawing the correct network and drawing the network requires your practice simply watching the video understanding the concept will not do so always draw the uh, i mean make a practice make a good practice on drawing the correct network now first of all the activities are one to two so one to two i have taken then two to three two to six so two activities are busting from uh, two events second event so second second event two activities are busting two to three and 2 to 6 then two, uh, 3 to 4 3 to 5 3 activities are busting 3 to 4 and 3 to 5 then 4 to 6 5 to 6 2 activities are merging 4 to 6 and 5 to 6 already 2 to 6 we have already in the beginning we have written 2 to 6 now 4 to 6 5 to 6 so 3 activities are merging in sixth event right last one six to seven that's it this is the diagram now normal time the normal time you are given two four eight three like that take this normal time on each activity one to two activity two is the normal time two to three activity four is the normal time then two to six activity eight is the normal time so whatever normal time is given i have taken the normal time on the activities 
Now the next step EST value forward pass add up the values only one activity is merging 0 plus 2 2 only one arrow merging 2 plus 4 is 6 only one arrow merging 6 plus 3 9 only one arrow merging 6 plus 2 8 3 arrows are merging so we take the maximum 9 plus 4 13 or 8 plus 3 11 or 2 plus 8 10 whichever is higher 13 is higher now only one arrow merging 13 plus 8 21 forward pass completed now backward pass lft the last event 21 21 only one arrow busting so we we subtract 21 minus 8 you will get 13 only one arrow busting so 13 minus 4 is 9 only one arrow busting 13 minus 3 is 10 here only two arrows are busting so we take the minimum 9 minus 3 6 or 10 minus 2 8 8 or 6 whichever is less 6 is less now two arrows are busting so we take the minimum 6 minus 4 is 2 or 13 minus 8 is 5 whichever is less 2 is less only one arrow busting 2 minus 2 0 so we have calculated the EST LFT value now critical path it will be shown by double lines where EST LFT values are same here 0 2 13 21 this is also same but the total duration you see 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 8 18 are we getting 18 here no so this is not the critical path now we move upward 2 2 6 6 we cannot go to here because 8 10 are different then upward 9 then 13, then 21. So our critical path goes from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 9. Here critical path. The total cost of the project without crashing, we have not yet crashed, 21 weeks. So 21 weeks per week, 3000 given in the problem. Per week, 3000. So total 63,000 is the cost. Without crashing, the total duration 21 weeks and the total cost 63 weeks. Now we start the crashing. Cost to slope. The cost to slope are given for 2 to 3. 2 to 3 is critical activity. 2 to 3 is critical. Then 3 to 4. 3 to 4 is also critical. Then 4 to 6. 4 to 6 is also critical. 6 to 7. 6 to 7 is critical. So for critical activities, cost to slope are given 1,500, 1,333. What is the minimum cost to slope? 1000. This 1000 minimum cost to slope we are having for 2 to 3 activity and 4 to 6 activity. So what we will do is, we will crash one week for 2 to 3 activity and 4 to 6 activity. Only one week. Because normal time 4 weeks, crash time 3 weeks. So one week we can crash. Similarly for 4 to 6, normal time 4 weeks, crash time 3 weeks. So one week. Only one week we can crash for each activity. Now we crash the activity 2 to 3 by one week and 4 to 6 by one week. At a time we can crash one or more activity or more than one activity. So incurring an additional cost of 2000. 1000 is for activity 2 to 3 and 1000 is for the activity 4 to 6. So totally 2000 we are incurring extra cost to crash one week each. Right now, how the act, how the diagram will be. First of all, whichever activity is crashed, that the time estimate will write down. First of all, we have crashed the activity two to three. Two to three. How much was the earlier time here? Four. Now we crash one week, so it will it will become three. So instead of four, I am writing here three. That is the first change. Second, four to six. 4 to 6 activity earlier it was 4 weeks now we crash 1 week so it will come 3 so here I have taken 3 remaining other time estimates I am not touching so same so here 2 here also 2 here 8 8 3 3 2 2 3 3 and last 8 8 only 2 times we have changed here it was 4 now it has become 3 here it was 4 now it has become 3 
Now again we calculate EST LFT value. <coughs> 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 5 plus 2 is 7, right? Now here, 3 arrows are merging, so we take the maximum, 8 plus 3, 11, or 7 plus 3, 10, or 2 plus 8, 10. So 11 is highest, 8 plus 3, 11 is the highest, 11 plus 8, 19. So earlier total duration was 21. Now it has become 19, 19, 20, 21. That means two weeks we have crashed, right? Now critical path, again, same critical path, seven, eight is different. So that's why critical path, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to six, six to seven, right? This direct is not a critical path because two plus eight, 10, 10 plus eight, 18 you are getting, but you must get 19, longest path. So. Total duration 19 weeks and total cost 19 weeks into 3000 per week plus additional cost how much we are incurring here 2000 so 19 into 3 plus 2000 you get 59000 without crashing our total cost was 63000 after crashing our total cost come down to 59000 but still it is not the optimum duration we can crash further. So after 1000, the next minimum cost to slope is 1333. 1333 per week. For which activity? 6 to 7. Now we crash 6 to 7 activity. By how many weeks? Normal time 8 weeks, crash time 5 weeks. That means 3 weeks we can crash. Last activity 3 weeks we can crash. Now we crash the activity 6 to 7. By three weeks, incurring an additional cost of three into thirteen thirty-three, three thousand nine ninety-nine. That is equivalent to four thousand. So four thousand we are incurring for crashing three weeks. That's it. Now, which activity we are crashing now? Six to seven. The six to seven time was eight. Now we reduce three weeks. So eight minus three, you will get five. We are taking five here. We are taking 5. Remaining all times are same, whatever in the second diagram. So 2, then 3, then 3, then 2, then 8, then 3, then 3. This one 8 was there. Now we have converted into 5. Again, we can put a EST value. 0 plus 2 is 2. Right? Then 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. And 5 plus 2, 7. Three arrows are merging, so we take the maximum 8 plus 3, 11, 7 plus 3, 10, 2 plus 8, 10. So 11 is the highest, 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. The so total duration here was 19 weeks. Now the total duration has become 16 weeks. Three weeks reduced because we have crashed three weeks. Right? 16. Total cost will be 16 weeks into 3000. Per week 3000 plus 2000 already we have incurred here additional cost this additional cost 2000 we have already incurred and now we are incurring 4000 additional cost so total cost will become 54000 so earlier it was 59000 now it has become 54000 but this is not the end still we can crash one more activity you can see here the cost to slope 1000, 1000, 13, 33, we have class slashed. One more activity, 1500 rupees is the cost to slope for the activity 3 to 4. Normal time 3 weeks and crash time 2 weeks. That means 1 week we can crash. Which activity? 3 to 4. Now we crash the activity 3 to 4 by 1 week, incurring an additional cost of 1500. So which activity? 3 to 4. See here, 3 to 4. Earlier it was three weeks. Now we are crashing one week. So it will become two weeks. So this is the change. Earlier it was three weeks. Now I have converted into two weeks. Remaining all other times are same. Two, three, two, three, eight, three, five. Then these three. All other time estimates are same. Now we calculate EST value. Zero plus two is two. Two plus three, five. Five plus two, seven. Five plus two, seven. Three activities are merging. 7 plus 3, 10. 7 plus 3, 10. 2 plus 8, 10. The highest is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So 
the earlier it was 16 now it has become 15 one week crashed right now reverse back 15 minus 5 10 15, uh, 10 minus 3 7 10 minus 3 7 right 7 minus 2 5 because two arrows are bursting 7 minus 2 5 7 minus 2 5 now two arrows are bursting 5 minus 3 2 or 10 minus 8 2 2 minus 2 0 now you can observe all the paths have become critical 1 to 2 2 to 6 6 to 7 you can see 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 5 15 so this is also critical now if we go up 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 7 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 5 15 or if we go like this 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 5 15 so you can observe all the paths have become critical so there is no further possibility of crashing right now what is the total duration of the project 15 weeks all the activities have become critical so there is no possibility of further crashing total duration 15 weeks total cost 15 weeks into 3000 you will get 45000 then what are the additional cost three times we have incurred additional cost the first time additional cost is 2000 second time additional cost is 4000 and third time additional cost is 1500 so add up the additional cost 2000 plus 4000 plus 1500 52500 the project cost will be 52500 without crashing we were having project cost 63000 Systematically, when we crash the activities, it is coming down 63,000 to 59,000, 59,000 to 54,000, 54,000 to 52,500. That's all. This is the end of problem number four. The next video, last and final problem, problem number five, I'm going to explain. So, if you're satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video